So this is Key Quote's annotation for the Rat Catcher's Daughter. By now you should have already watched the annotating the vocabulary and also the annotation guide. If you haven't, go back and watch those first. Uh, but the goal of this one is for you to apply your own annotation practices following the sort of annotation guide I've provided. So our learning intention is to practice annotating pages that contain key quotes from each theme and some examples of literary devices. And the success criteria is you will have completed some of these beginning levels of annotation in your novel just for a couple of pages and hopefully that'll give you a bit of an idea of how to do it yourself independently. So these are the pages I want you to look into. So if I get you to pause the video here, go to this page and underline the section that I've got there. And then just look at your annotation guide, which should be in the front of your book or drawn somewhere within your novel. Decide which theme this is an example of. And again, page 8, underline these little sections and then have a critical think about which annotations are most appropriate here, what colours, what themes, what symbols, what motifs and maybe even what literary devices. Alright, again, page 3, this is the line I want you to underline and then think about what theme it relates to. Again, pause the video, page 4. Page 5, pause the video, underline what I have here and annotate it how you would. Page 6, pause the video, same thing, underline these little sections and decide what they all mean. Page 7, same drill. Page 8, same again. Page 9, page 10, same thing, there's a lot to underline here, so pause it, take a moment and get your highlighters out and think about what fits. Page 11, one super large chunk and a little example of something there. And then page 12, just two lines there. Okay, and then these are my answers or how I annotated it. This, there's not really a right or wrong way with annotation. Um, as long as you can justify something, you can do it. So what I've got here is the pink is gender roles and education is my little motif or symbol for education. Page two, check and compare if this is how, sorry, it's not paid, it's example page two, but it's on page eight. Check and see if you have the same sort of thing here. The tricky one is, of course, onomatopoeia, um, because wine is a sound effect that we use to give a sound that otherwise we wouldn't really have a name for. And we've got gender roles, social class, we've got that's a drawing of a rat and that's a drawing of a dog, in case you can't tell. And then we've also got alliteration, so the Y sound. N nasty, yappy, snappy, nervy, so the Y, 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 Y at the end of the word. This one's easy, social class. Um, we couldn't afford me. Then we've got here fear and panic, social class and fear and panic. I've got love here because it's probably contextual if, you didn't, if you're not really aware of what's happening at this point in the story. The doctor is talking to Kate and she kind of is a little bit keen on him. We've got fear and panic, then love again, and then fear and panic. All right, again, fear and panic, fear and panic, and education. So remember education represents sort of escaping. And the gender roles we've got here is the fact I work for him, the fact I'm female doesn't mean I don't have a brain. So that's pretty easy. Then we've got fear and panic, death, fear and panic, and yellow, which is, let's read it and work it out. It wasn't a rough box. I noticed now it was a proper, proper coffin. So that's social class because they can afford a proper coffin because they are rich. Social class again, gender roles, and a number of little similes. So it's been as quiet as as the grave, and I'm as dry as an old boot. Then just love. This is a really full home one. We've got fear and panic, gender role, social class, gender role, social class, and death. So we've got all four themes in this one. It's very rare that you would annotate a page this closely, but there's obviously a number of key quotes all on one page. Okay, we've got social class, social class, and this is just an intertextual reference to Oliver Twist. And we've got social class, death, and love. So, so sad to know he'll never meet them again. She put her hand to, wait, to wipe away the tears. So someone's died, and love is kind of the theme related to that. 